know we can't miss guys, night. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody now, sing now, that everybody. shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, y'all probably like, bitch, I'm here for the tea. Like, skip over all of the the filler shenanigans because this is probably the most spicy titled story time I've ever done outside of the man living in my attic. If you haven't seen that story time, I'm gonna add this video to the playlist. So feel free to indulge in my past story times. I'm wearing my Libra necklace, you know why? Because my birthday is coming up September 30th and my birthday is coming up. What y'all can do for my birthday is y'all can go ahead and buy some merch. So let's get into the story. I'm gonna skip all the juju. As you read from this title, I'm going to be telling you about my boyfriend who left me for a man. I don't know what I'm gonna title this by. Boyfriend, who had a boyfriend, whatever juicy title I come up with. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tyreka. Damn, I just smacked the crap out of Tyreka. Um, y'all get the gist. I had a man and I caught him with a man. So. Let's get into it. First disclaimer, this did happen a while ago. Don't got nothing to do with my current boyfriend, obviously. Second uh, thing is this wasn't actually my boyfriend. This was somebody I was talking to heavy. Y'all know how, you know, in high school, in high school I never had a boyfriend. Like, I never had a boyfriend in high school. Every person that I was with or that, y'all know how we go in high school or we talk. Like, we talk, but when you talk though, talking back in high school is like, oh, you talking, like, don't touch my man, we talk. Like, don't touch somebody who you talk to. The guy, we talked, and when we talked for a long time, like, this is this is my boot thing, my earth thing, like, yeah, that was my boot. Okay, so I gotta come up with a code name. So the only real name in this story is gonna be my best friend, Taylor. Y'all have heard me, we have the same name, so I, she said I can use her name in this story, so Taylor is the name I'm gonna use, that's real. Every other name is obviously gonna be fake, I don't wanna put nobody out there, you know, nice confidentiality and such. So I'm gonna go with Kevin. So uh, my boo thing was Kevin and we was like this. Like, I mean, on the phone all the time. Always hit my phone in between classes. Like, skipping class together. Like, that was my boo. My everything. My uh, cinnamon apple. Like, that was my boo. You didn't tell me nothing. Everybody knew that too. Uh, me and Kevin were messing around for maybe like six months. About messing around, I was approved in school. So by messing around, we was like making out every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? I ain't open my legs until after high school. So he ain't get a piece of that, but he didn't want that anyway. So <laughs> jokes on me. Give over the judge to when stuff started getting suspicious with us. Me and Kevin would hang out a lot. We both played sports, so we met up when we could. Everything with me and Kevin was so cool. I never got any red flags. The first red flag I, flag I did get was one day we was at lunch. So everybody was at the table. My, I was sitting with my boo Kevin, and my table used to be me, Kevin, my friends, his friends, all at the table. There was a room about a guy in my school named Thomas. So a, to so a rumor went around about Thomas, and Thomas was a mutual friend of all the rest of the football players in school. Rumor had one around that basically Thomas was gay. I am pro LGBT, and if y'all didn't know, I'm the being LGBT. So for me, yo, yo she's gay. She's gay. You're yeah, gay. Like she's 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 bi. Bi. Anyway, back in high school, I didn't know that about myself, but I knew growing up, like I always was. I never was one for hate. Like so, me and Taylor are at the lunch table, and these guys start talking about Thomas. They was like, "Yeah, did you hear about Thomas? Like, oh, I heard Thomas." It's gay, and he used to mess with blah, 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 blah. And so, you know, it was tea still. So we like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Like, I would never have expected Thomas, blah, blah, blah. So out of all of the guy, and all of my, all of our guy friends, my boo, Kevin, was closest to Thomas. So everybody started questioning Kevin. Excuse me, um, Kevin, that's your man, ain't it? Da, 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 da. And so the first red flag to any person in the closet is the extra, like the extra homophobia. Like, you just, you just angry. Like, did somebody say gay? Who's gay? Not me. I'm not gay. It's for gay people. I'm not gay. Maybe you're gay. I don't mess with Tyrone. You're gay. I'm not gay. That, that, that should have been the first red flag. And I had never seen that side of him before. So, he go off. He like, I'm not with that gay stuff. Stop playing. Just blew up. Like, basically. So, me and Taylor looked at each other like, Why he doing all that? And so, you know, I'm telling him, like, calm down. Like, I don't know why you doing all that. Like, they just they just joking around. Like, they not really, like, playing. They, they just playing with you. And so, he starts blowing up. I mean, 
face turning colors, just going crazy at the lunch table. Like, and the boys just, the, 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 the other players, they just eating it up. They like, oh my gosh, this nigga tripping and he geeking, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so I didn't look at the first red flag as he was gay. I looked at the first red flag as, oh, like he's just doing too much, you know. Y'all know the history and how homophobia is ingrained in the black community, all of that. So that's just how I looked at it. So fast forward, after that lunch, we had a conversation and talking about what happened at lunch lead, led to us, you know, breaking up or we stopped talking, I should say. So we stopped talking for like a week. Like it was cold, the trail went cold for like a week. And so basically we had stopped talking for a week and after we stopped talking, you know, I had started talking to somebody else. I'm tired of using the word talking. I'm so glad that as an adult, I would never do nothing like that. But you know, kids, if you decide to talk to somebody in school, don't do it, it's a trap. I guess because it was op I was openly talking to somebody else and people knew, he decided he wanted to bang down my door on some, oh, what you back, da, da, da. So cool, you know, cool. We got back together. He had a car. I did it. So what he did was when he wanted to talk, he had pulled up to my place, which was only maybe 10 minutes from his, but pulled up to my place and um, <clears throat> we stayed in the car because my parents ain't played there. Wasn't no boys in the house. We stayed in the car, we talked and yeah, you know, made up, I guess. And I, this is the detail that I want to say. So he made up with me on a Friday night. On Friday was when a lot of the football players and the guys would like hang out and stuff at the one guy Tyler's house. So Tyler lived maybe like 35 minutes out, whatever. He had a nice house, so that's where all the guys and stuff would hang out. So I knew that that's probably where he was about to go. Boo, you know, I'm about to, you know, go hang out at Tyler's. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, me being a dumb dumb mama, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, boo, I'll see you tomorrow. He leaves, five minutes go by, and I get a text, and it's from Kevin. <laughs> and Kevin is like, I'll be there in five. Huh? I am doing calculations in my head. I'm like, carry this one, take away two. You just left my house five minutes ago and you're texting someone saying you're gonna be there in five minutes. Last I checked, you're five minutes around the corner from me. So if you would have been on your way home texting someone, that would make sense. Um, and Tyler's house is 35 minutes away. So the math is just not math in here. It is just not math. In. So I call my best friend Taylor before I do anything irrational. I call my best friend Taylor. I'm like, a bitch. I just got a text message from Kevin saying that he was gonna be here in five minutes. And she was like, is he gonna be there in five minutes? I'm like, girl, no, he just left my house. And she was like, what? She was like, is he going? And cause her boyfriend, she, uh, my, how am I gonna call her boyfriend? I'm gonna call her boyfriend, Michael. Her boo, Michael, also goes to Tyler house and stuff. So she was like, what? She was like, what you mean? I'm like, if, she was like, if he just left, she was like, ain't he going to Tyler house? She's like, maybe he's missed text Tyler. I was like, sis, Tyler lives 35 minutes away from us. She was like, you right, he do? That don't make no sense. So, you know, my sis being a ride or die that she is, she was like, you wanna pull up? I didn't have a car, but she did. So I'm like, you damn skippy, I wanna pull up. So I text him back and I'm like, did you mean to send me this? He was like, oh no, my bad, I meant to send it to Tyler. I am fucking fooling. No, 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 no. So I text him back, I'm like, how you gonna be at Tyler House in five minutes? She was, he was like, you know I drive fast. I must have had dumb broad written on my forehead. So I don't act crazy. I ain't know how to how to properly, you know, do a pull up. So I'm like, okay, boo, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tonight. Taylor pulls up and she tells me, she's like, all right, girl, let's get down there. You know, if do you want me to call Michael to see like if he can give me some insight? I said, girl, do you really think Michael is about to write out Kevin? Come on now. You know dang on why that's not about to happen. She's like, okay, cool. She's like, I left my laptop at Michael's. So I'm gonna go to Michael's first. I was like, you can go to, I was like, Michael not home. She was like, no, 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 it's fine. She was like, I'm cool, real cool with his grandmother. His grandmother said that, you know, um, I can come pick it up. I was like, did you text her tonight? She was like, no, I texted her earlier. I was supposed to come get it earlier, but I'ma just come and get it tonight. She said I can come over whatever, and it's not super late. So we drive to Michael's house, which is also in the neighborhood. Like all of us basically live within like a 10 minute radius from each other. I'm hot in the car. I'm like, girl, when I pull up, like if he's not there, I swear, I'm. Gonna, I, and then it's like, I don't even really know what I'm gonna do 
because I don't know where this nigga is at at this point. It was no, we didn't have locations and stuff on back then. So we pull up to Michael's house. Taylor knocks on the door. Michael's grandmother answers. Now Taylor asked me to come up there because even though she knows his family, y'all know it can be still be awkward. Like she's like, I know them, but you know, I still, I, I would feel comfortable if you came in there with me because I'm usually with Michael when I go in there. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. The grandmother answers the door. She's like, how y'all doing? Da -da -da. She didn't know me. I was like, I'm Taylor. And you know, every time somebody find out both our names is Taylor, it's just a whole thing. She's like, y'all got the same name of y'all sisters. Da -da 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 -da. She tells her, she's like, yeah, the laptop is up in Michael's room. You can go up in there and grab it. So we go upstairs and the door is locked. Taylor's like, if Michael not here, why would the door, why would his bedroom door be locked? Taylor gets to rattling the door handle. And so once we shook the door handle a little bit, we hear rattling in the room, right? So I'm like, what the freak is going on? I'm like, girl, I thought Michael was at Tyler. She's like, I did too. And obviously Michael's in the room. So you can hear him moving around stuff, like whispering, and we like, he in there with somebody. At this point, Taylor goes, goes crazy she's like open the door da, 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 da. so i'm like taylor keep it down so the grandmother don't hear you she won't come up here so she was like open the door michael i hear you in there open the door she banging on the door so we like whisper yelling at this point because the grandmother was downstairs she had church music blasting so we knew that it was going to take a lot for her, us to hear her she was already hard at hearing god bless her taylor starts going in she's like open the door open the door open the door so we had a rattling going on in the, in the room and so taylor you know he had one of those locks one of those, how can I describe the locks? It's probably a way, it's probably something that this lock is called and I'm probably messing it up. But the lock is like this. Like you can put you can put a coin in there and go like that. So that's the kind of lock it was. So we put the coin, so I had a coin. I put the coin in there and I went like that. So we unlocked the door and bust it open. So when we get in there, right? What does this look like to you? Michael's sitting there, pants unzipped. He got clothes on, but pants unzipped so we could see the boxes peeking through. And he got his hand on the closet door like this. Like, why Why are you here? And she like, why am I here? Nigga, why are you here? You're supposed to be at Tyler's house at the game night and you're here at your house. So he was like, yeah, I had to come back to the house to grab some stuff. That's why I was rattling around. I thought she was my grandmother trying to come in here because she's always trying to bust in here. And so, so me and Taylor like, we give each other that look. And he was like, yeah, I just came back here because I had to grab. And he made up some excuse we he had to grab. I don't even remember what he said he had to grab. And he was like, she was like, it was so dire that you had to drive another 35 minutes and then another 30, like it's just not making sense. It's so funny how when stuff like this go, to, go on, the friend don't ever talk to the guy. He She always hype up the girl. So I'm like, oh, but Taylor, I'm just trying to figure out why his hand on that door. And so Taylor was like, you right. Why is your hand on the door? What you mean? Who hand on the door? My hand not on the door. Maybe your hand on the door. Cause his hand was like on the closet door. First of all, if he didn't want nobody to go in the closet, the last thing he should have did was put his hand on that damn closet door. I don't know if he was mid closing it when we walked in there, but he had his hand on the closet door. So obviously, every cheating scenario, it's a half naked hoe in the bathroom. I mean, not in the bathroom, in the closet door. So he's like, I'm just, I was just leaning in the closet. It's not that big of a deal. So Taylor was like, runs and rushes past me and tries to open the door. But Michael too quick for all that. So he had his hand on the door. So me being a ride or die I am, I was like, girl, you know it's another girl in here. So I start going through Michael's stuff. He like, what are you doing? Get your friend, get your friend. And she was like, don't talk to my friends like that. So I'm going through Michael's stuff. I'm ripping through drawers. I'm ripping through pants. I'm just trying to find some evidence of a woman being there, like some tubes, a, 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 a bra, a, a left nipple pad, something. Something to indicate there is a woman in here because logically in my head, I'm thinking there's a girl in here. Then I start, like my mind starts putting pieces together and I'm like, how would she have gotten up here past the grandmother? Like so many questions was going on in my head, but I wasn't really worried about the questions at the time because I'm trying to help my sis. I had completely forgot about, you know, Kevin trifling, cheating behind. And I was like, you know what? We want to deal with mine in a second let's get my sis out the way so i'm digging through her stuff and i'm like girl i don't see nothing i don't see nothing she must have, she must have everything in the closet so i run over to the closet too and i help my sis so michael was pretty strong but he's not strong enough to hold the, the closet door for both of us like come on now. look at this we pull it did take a little tugging you know michael was an athlete so you know it took took a little teamwork and a little little elbow grease um but we get the door open and when we get that goddamn door open yeah, guess guess what guess what girl in the closet? Just guess what girl in the closet. You're wrong. It was a man. And the man was Kevin. Oh. I 
literally it was like something out of a soap opera because the silence in that room you could hear a fly fart in that bitch it was so quiet and you would think like so what kevin was in a closet why would you even assume like taylor you just making assumptions i am not making assumptions my boo boo kevin was in the closet drawers nothing but the drawers on and then you see Michael here with the pants undone. We obviously know who was the top and who was the bottom. So that's a whole nother conversation. But Kevin with shirt, no shirt, no shoes, no pants, just drawers. Looking like a cheap hooker. Looking like a cheap hooker. And he had the most doodle -doo look on his face. And I really say, and I'm like, so here I am thinking that you're here we are, I'm sorry, not just me, here me and my sis are, thinking that we're getting cheated on and we were gonna find a hussy in Michael's closet and I was gonna pull up on Kevin and find some hoe at his house and Kevin is the hoe. Kevin is the hoe and Michael is the hussy. It was just not making sense. Like I was trying to think of every logical explanation like, and then Kevin was stuttering. I mean, Michael was stuttering, beatboxing. I, I, I don't. I just, it's just motherfucking. Uh, uh, down. And then Kevin was just sitting there looking, looking cheap. Everything I wanted to say out my mouth just couldn't come out. Like I, you know, and you know what's crazy? If it was a girl in there, I'd have been like, "You got me fucked up. You got my sis messed up." But it's just something about finding this kind of situation where you really just don't know what to say. I feel like his grandmother just magically popped into the room. She come up there and she's like, what's going on in here? And so me and Taylor was like, I don't, I don't even know what's going on. And so his grandmother assumed that we all was on some freaky stuff. Like Taylor was trying to get down with Mike while I was trying to get down with Kevin, like maybe on some orgy stuff. And she was like, don't, y'all don't, I cannot believe y'all being this way in my house while I'm right here and blah, 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 blah. And we was like, listen, we gonna call her Miss Johnson. I was like, listen, Miss Johnson, I, we just came up here for the laptop and this is what we found. Kevin was in the closet, both literally and metaphorically, and I don't know what's going on. We're just gonna go. Taylor's gonna grab her laptop. I'm sorry, like, I, we gotta go. And so we like, literally, I, I, we ran out of that house so fast. We sit in front of Michael's house for a good 10 minutes and we exchanged the loudest silence in the history of silence. Like, the, every word that came in my mouth was a bitch. Cause a bitch. Like, it was nothing else for us to say. Like, so 10 minutes go by, what felt like five years, as we really sit here trying to process everything. And I see Kevin running outside, fully clothed this time, thank God. Come running outside and he banging on my side of the window. So I rolled the window down, but I only rolled it down like that. I went, so it was like a little crack for him to talk. And so he was like, I just want to talk to you. Can you get out? Let's talk privately. I'm like, privately for what? Like we all just experienced this together. I'm like, at this point we need group counseling. Like, I don't really know what you need to go talk in private for. So y'all know what he said to me? Just, just a guess. Yeah, um, you're not, you're not going to tell nobody, are you? Yeah, you ain't gonna say nothing, nothing at school or nothing to nobody, right? Right, Taylor? He said, please don't tell nobody. I saw you excuse me. So, you just sent me into an emotional roller coaster, and the first thing you gotta say is, please don't tell nobody. You, I didn't, yeah. I just, I, just, I asked Taylor, I said, Taylor, roll the window down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it. Domestic violence, that was me. Domestic violence, that was me. I was disrespected. Me today wouldn't do that. But I was so disrespected. My hand, like, I was saying one thing when my hand wanted to say something else. Like, so I just, I, I popped them on the lip. It was bleeding a little bit. But, you know, God forgive me. I was just disrespected. Like, you're telling me you're going to a boys game night. And you're going to, you're going to a game night, all right. You're going to the, you're going to a game night. I, I just wasn't the kind that I thought it was gonna be. Then Michael came out there, tried to talk to Taylor. Taylor pulled the car away before, before Michael could get there. She thought that if she saw Michael that she might fight him, which I understood because my first instinct was to pop Kevin, so I completely understood. 
So we get back, we meet up at school, and Michael, we see Michael and Kevin, and they just got the most ghost looking face. They just know they about to walk into school and the whole school about to know what's going on. Little do they know, I don't got time to be spreading rumors or to be telling people about, about business and what was going on. So we never told anybody that what happened with that but you know life comes full circle crazy part is is later on in the year there was a there was a rumor it wasn't started by us and we didn't tell anybody we nobody me, me and her to this day took it to the grave and people still wouldn't know that it was us that we're talking about but later on there was an additional rumor there was another rumor about them doing something and uh, as soon as it came back to me and tail i was like oh that's crazy oh i guess we were cover-ups that's all i could say I didn't even, I didn't even feed into the rumor. I could have been like, you know what, it's true. We saw it. We saw it by our own eyes, but we ain't even do that. I ain't do it. I ain't. Listen, I ain't, that ain't my business. If me and Taylor, cause I remember one time me and Taylor tried to make a double date with us on that on a Friday night. We was like, oh, we should go to movies on Friday because on Saturday we had Saturday morning practice and all sorts of stuff so we didn't have any other way to do it. So let's do a double date on a Friday. And they were so adamant. They was like, you know we can't miss guys night. Clearly we know why guys night was so um important to Kevin and Michael. I wish them the best. There's really no moral to the story. I mean, well, uh, there is a moral to the story. Don't, you know, obviously they homophobes and you know, for multiple reasons, not just that. And please no LGBT bash in the comments, but this was a very, a very interesting story. I guess I can see why he was so comfortable with us not doing anything. One relief I will say that came from dating Kevin in, in, in high school was he was never pushy about sex. Cause I was always a prude in school. So I will say that he is the one guy that did not pressure me. He did not pressure me in school to have sex with him, but I guess I know why. He was getting it elsewhere. I guess I didn't think of it like that. I guess that's why he, he never pressured me. But good for him. No guy should press you anyway. Good for him. Guess he was pressuring Michael though. Cause they was getting down. He was full down, Kevin was full down to the drawers. Yeah, that's the end of this story. Me and Kevin actually was still cool. We, we It took us a while, but you know, when I say cool, the cool is really like, it's, it's a really strong word. Like we were, we was cool. Like we were in a group setting and he was there. Like we would kiki a little bit. Cause we was good friends. We was good friends. I, I'll say that, we was good friends. That's one thing, one of the other things that me and my best friend Taylor have in common other than our names. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know any other story times. I do have another juicy story time that I'm gonna tell. Cause I know y'all were asking, because in one video I did with my boyfriend, I said I was a side chick. So y'all would like to hear the story on when I was a side chick and how that went down. So I will be happy to tell that story, but make sure y'all share this story. Like I said, for my birthday, go and grab some merch. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the probably laughing at my pain, but that's what I'm here for. Love you guys.